Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a Philadelphia Flyers trade deadline recap. Scott Lawton re-signed for five years at a $3 million AAV. Excuse me, Mike Roffel traded to the Capitals, and Eric Gustafson traded to Montreal Canadian. So first and foremost, obviously with Samuel Morin coming up, and you have other defensemen. You have Derek Pouillot in the minors, who's played very well for the Phantoms as an offensive defenseman. If people get injured, could step in for Gus, especially because Gus hasn't fit in at all in this team, um, with this team, and it just hasn't worked out, like Fletcher said in his press conference, where Pouillot seems to fit in very well in the minor league. So um, if somebody does get injured, I think he would be able to <clears throat> step up. There was no knees and or realm to keep Eric Gustafson on the team, so that was a good deal just to get anything for him, even though it's a seventh round pick for Montreal. Let him go somewhere where he might get a chance to play, might not, because they are so already kind of have a defense and added other defenders at the deadline as well. But the Flyers did not need Eric Gustafson anymore. They just didn't. He didn't fit into their team. Samuel Morin stepping up. They got Dark Puyat on the tax card. They got Linus Hogberg in the minors and others that they could call up to try to give chances to a uh, Wiley, other players as well, to try to give some chances to his youngsters um, as this season goes on. Um, when it comes to Michael Roffel being traded, uh, that just seems to make sense of the fact that he was on his expiring contract. He's been here for a while now. You have a lot of guys in the minors that play a similar, very smart, witty, never going to impress you uh, off this, off your, like, rocker with their skill set but just be the guys that do what needs to get done on the ice are good penalty killers good four checkers good stick checkers that's what raffle was for a while i feel like the guy they peg in the organization is actually not tanner to replace him i think tanner's more of a center or winger where a guy that actually is more of just a hardcore winger that plays with the smart plays with the wits have has a little bit more size and maybe a body checking ability because of that size and Raffle is Linus Sandine, who they brought over from overseas, which is how they got Raffle, of course, back in the day from overseas, brought him in, became one of the team favorites, fan favorite flyers for years on. Um, and now for, I think it was eight years, and now uh, we wish him well going on to Washington, who, of course, is the opponent uh, the flyers face uh, this evening. But uh, Michael Raffle is a guy that I think they pegged guys in the minors, even a Wilman um, who has a little bit more, obviously, straight line speed and a scoring a heck of a shot compared to Raffle, does all those little things combined with having that heck of a shot. Um, but I think Linus Sandin, just how he plays the game on the stick check, on the four check, good active with the stick, good active along the board. I feel like he's the guy they identified to replace him there. So Raffle moving on makes sense for me. It seemed like he was going to move on after this season. You might as well get a fifth round pick. See if you can get another Tanner Lozinski or another maybe a Hogberg or even a Wiley Lozinski or the minus mid round pick that developed for you. Hag was a mid round pick that's looking really good in his recent games. Um, somebody that you might be able to. I was actually surprised that he was a guy that they didn't that they didn't look to move a little bit more with how good he's looked. But maybe with how good he's looked, they uh, think that they're going to integrate him more and have two pretty tough uh, shot blocking physical defensemen and Moore and Hag not on the same line but in the same lineup uh, more times than not in some capacity. But we'll have to see what they decide to do there going forward. But last but certainly not least, the biggest news of the day was the Philadelphia Flyers retaining Scott Lawton for five years for a $3 million AAV. I was very um, happy with this deal, and I was very much expecting the AAV to be around $3 million. That was spot on. I wasn't spot on with the years. If I made a projection, I would have made the projection of three for three, I thought they would give him. But uh, five years is fine. This is a guy that Fletcher obviously... Um, said how much they wanted to keep here, and they were very uh, honored that he wanted to stay here. They got the deal done. Um, it's very good to bring Scotty back. Talk about another player that just gets what needs to get done on the ice, knows where to be for his teammates, uh, sacrifices himself for his teammates, run into a brick wall for his teammate, and play very good on both ends, which we know this Flyers team has not had enough of that from their forward court this year. He is a guy you want to keep around, and also when you have to put him... Um, Back in um, on the wing or back in at center, he's able to be that Swiss Army Knight player that can do it all for you as well. Those guys are more valuable than I think some people come to realize. He's a guy that can score for you, seems to be continuing to tick upwards as well. So he's definitely a guy, it makes sense that you decided to keep him around. He's a guy you definitely want to have here for the foreseeable. And that's what the Flyers are going to have with Scott Lowe and a nice physical, um, also obviously productive player on both ends of the ice. 
um, in Scott Lawton that just knows how to play the game the right way, knows how to play that brand of Flyers hockey or fan uh, know and love. That's why Lawton has become a fan favorite, Scotty Lawton has. And he's going to continue to be one for the next five years. So I hope you all enjoyed the short Philadelphia Flyers trade deadline recap where we went over Lawton getting re-signed. The big news of the day. Great congratulations to Scott Lawton. Very excited to be able to watch him for um, the rest of this year and then the next five years after this. And then we have Raffle. Congratulations to him to get to go to a cup contender in the Washington Capitals. Getting traded there for a fifth round pick. And Gus getting to go and try himself out in Montreal. Um which is uh, good for them to get something for Eric Gustafsson. I'm a seventh-round pick. He just wasn't working here. So this has been a quick trade deadline recap, a flyer trade deadline recap. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Bork. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Trying to hit 140 as soon as I can at 127 right now. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and enjoy the hockey, everybody. Peace out.